Hello, it's interesting getting so many comments on this channel. Thank you so much. Uh, they're all really good. A couple are a little bit odd, like the person who said that uh, a van driver of an electric vehicle wouldn't have time to stop during the day to charge his vehicle for his deliveries. Well, he's got a very good point there. Hello, friends. My name's Nigel. I hope you can subscribe and like and please keep those comments coming. I mean, the comment is correct uh, that van drivers are very, very busy. They've got a lot to do and uh, they certainly wouldn't have time to charge during the day when they're making deliveries. Lots and lots of companies are changing to electric. Uh, there are many advantages. The first one is they can charge at night. So there's really no need to charge up during the day. And they can charge at a quarter of the price of uh, sometimes less of petrol, diesel or gas. <laughs> so at the beginning of every day, the vehicle is ready so he can get on with his deliveries without any interruptions. Businesses are looking at cutting costs. And although there's initial outlay is slightly dearer, an electric vehicle, though there's a lot of very good used ones around. It's good for business. EVs like short stop and start journeys, uh, much more than combustion engines. Also, you're not polluting the driver with diesel fumes. Many don't switch off when they stop. It probably slow them down. So the air quality is not only better for the driver, it's better for anyone in the vicinity. I'm sure someone will say not every small business is able to afford an electric vehicle and might not have a facility to charge at night. Well, it's a competitive business and you've got to do things better than your competitor if you're going to be successful. And you can either pass on the profits to yourself to get more electric vehicles or reduce the price to the customers. There's many options in business and uh, and many will reinvest the additional profits they're making into more electric vehicles. I tend to think of these things like right, solar panels was when you, if, if and when uh, you buy a house and that initially it's dearer than renting, uh, but in the long term, it's much, much better for you. So electric vans are perfect for local deliveries and that uh, you can find a big selection between 15, 20,000 pounds. I know many farmers who have EV cars and vans and charge for free from their wind turbine. I enjoy all your comments on this channel uh, and often Tesla drivers say, stop telling people how good they are. I want to superchargers just for me and I don't want 10 times more people using them. So with that thought in mind, I'm not going to tell you how rubbish Tesla vehicles are or electric vehicles are. Many sites do that, there's plenty of them around and they're getting 10 times more views than I am because negative uh, is clickbait and people love to see all the things wrong with electric vehicles. But in the 50 years I've been driving a car, a petrol, diesel, gas car, two years electric and I would never go back. And if anyone should be a petrol head trapped in the past, it's me. I just think it's the way ahead. For me, you do what you like. Like the person who said, stop telling people to buy a Tesla. Yeah, then we can have the uh, superchargers just to ourselves. A recent consumer report found that 92% of Tesla Model 3 owners would definitely buy the car again. Yeah, but what do they know? And sorry, Tesla drivers, I've done it. I keep having to tell people how good they are, but they are best car you can buy. Another comment I've just had is, so you don't mind waiting around off-peak hours to charge your EV for an hour more. Some of us have to work. I think this person had also asked me if I was retired, insinuating I've got nothing better to do all day. Well, I can assure you, I do have quite a bit to do. Well, let me explain. When I get home, I plug the car in at 11.30 when electricity is a quarter of the price it fills the car up with electricity. So at the start of every day, a bit like the electric van driver, car is ready to go. Now, some people have said the grid can't cope with any more electric vehicles, but more EV owners are charging at night. 
when there's a surplus of electricity from wind farms, etc. I'm thinking of getting a battery with solar. And when there is not enough solar energy to fill up the battery during the day, if it's been a dull day, like so many people, and if you've done this, please let me know what your experience is. I'm planning on topping up from the grid at 1am in the morning when the electricity is cheap and then selling it back to them uh, from 4 to 7pm. And Octopus Energy uh, have a plan where you can do this and which helps pay for your battery. Because at 1am in the morning, the wind turbines are spinning around and uh, not many people are using electricity other than EV drivers charging up. And of course, everyone's using electricity from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So it sounds like a good plan to me. If you're doing this, please let me know what your experience is. I'd love to know. But thank you very much for getting this far. I hope you can subscribe and like, and please keep those comments coming. Um, it helps the channel, and good or bad, as long as they're not rude. Uh, please don't forget to take your reusable mug wherever you go. Um, drive safely. See you next time. Bye for now. Oh, I forgot to mention, do you like the snow? Hmm, I thought I'd sit here at the window as it's uh, so nice outside. Bye for now.